trying to keep this silly light off of me while I'm recording and it's not working. It's coming straight through the blinds. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I am back. I have been gone for such a long time. The videos that you saw previously, I did record just as I was getting sick and I got COVID and oh my goodness, I thought I was better. I was up helping my mom do some stuff and then I just I got sick all over again. I got a sore throat. I got the whole, oh my goodness, it's a whole thing. So that doesn't have anything to do with today's video. Today I'm just doing a little roundup of things that I like because I wanted to be able to do a video that was kind of chill and laid back. I did try to film this look this morning. The whole thing was a mess. I had to scrap it because even though the look is okay, I filmed a couple of things wrong. It has just been brain fog and mind numbing and I'm trying to get back in the saddle today. So please bear with me as we do some favorites from possibly December, January, and now we're on, in, on into February. My goodness, let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do things a little bit backwards because I usually start with makeup. We're gonna start with a little bit of lifestyle today. I wanted to show you this purse. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this purse. And I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it because the baby is big. This is a pink purse that I got off of Amazon and I love this thing. It's a big hobo bag that has the handles, the double handle on there gold accents. Some of the accents are absolutely adorable. It has chains on it. It has a little bling sparkle on it. I just think this is so dang cute. It did, did come with a shoulder um, strap that I hardly ever use on these. The inside is super big and super roomy. It has the regular pockets that you get for your cell phone or whatever you need there. It does have the side zipper pocket, but the inside of it is just deep and for me sometimes these kinds of bags are the bomb because they really just help me not to have to worry about where I put things. I throw my wallet, I throw my phone in here, a little bit of makeup and I go. I love the accents on this thing. It's just so dang cute. Let me pan you down so you can see what it's like. I just really have loved it. It's just been one of those bags that I have toted around. I don't have my stuff in it right now because I am trying out another bag, but this one was so much fun. Are you guys at all interested in seeing a fashion roundup, like some shirts, maybe some purses, some jewelry from Amazon? Is that something that you guys would be interested in seeing for me? I'm thinking about kind of going that way because a lot of you always ask me what I'm wearing for shirts or you ask me about my earrings and whatnot. I can't link these earrings today. They're... They're so cute. I got them on eBay. Um, it was just one of a kind type thing, but I just happened to stumble across them. But the shirt I can link for you. It's just kind of a fun knit shirt. A lot of you asked me to link that kind of stuff. I'll make sure that I link what I can today. I can link the purple polish for you. But yeah, let me know if that's something that you would like me to do a little bit of, maybe a fashion haul occasionally for you guys, just so you can see what I'm up to with what I'm liking and what I'm not liking. Let me know that down in the comments. Another lifestyle-ish product is this silk eye mask for nighttime that you wear to block out all of the light. When I got COVID and I couldn't sleep, I was sleeping around the clock, but I wasn't being able to sleep because I'm somebody that really needs the dark to sleep. That's what melatonin is. It's an actual hormone that your body releases when it gets dark. That's why you get sleepy when it gets to be nighttime. And so what this does is it goes over your eyes. It's very soft and very gentle because it is silk and you can adjust it to be tighter to your head or be looser to your head. I actually have it a little bit looser most of the time because I don't like stuff being pulled against my eyes. Obviously, we wouldn't want to do that anyway, but I really like this. I have two of them. One that I can wash when this one gets a little bit dirty and then the clean one that I just use each night. So I really have been enjoying this. It's really helped a lot with my sleep. I think I've talked about this before on my channel, but it's something that has really helped me get a better night's sleep without having to maybe take some Tylenol PMs or whatever 
It just really has helped my sleep a lot and it helped me so much when I was sick because I needed it to be dark because my head was hurting. That's the other thing. If you have migraines, if you suffer with migraines, this helps with that too because the light really does affect you. Even some of my just tension headaches, the light can really affect me. So these are really a lifesaver. I have really enjoyed having a mask like that. Now, another kind of lifestyle one is this. This is a new mirror that I got and I am so excited about this. I'll tell you why. Because this has two sides like a normal mirror does, right? So you're getting the regular magnification and you're getting the five times magnification, which I think is fantastic. The size of it, I also think is fantastic. It is five inches across. So it really does, you know, when you're looking into it, you don't have to move it around for, can I find the spot that I need? You, It's a full face pretty much. They also, inside of them, they light up. But not only does the side that is your regular magnification, but the side that is the five times magnification lights up. I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror, but then you can have them both light up and you can have it even brighter than that. It is rechargeable as you can see right there. It's rechargeable, which I really like as well. I like having five times instead of 10 times. I find that 10 times magnification or even seven times is a little bit much for me. They do have some that are three times, um, but I never found any of them that both sides light up like this. And then I wanna just quickly go over this fragrance with you. Have any of you, I'm sure you have, it's been on the market for years, the DKNY Be Delicious. This smells so good. It smells like spring to me. It has this fragrance of apple and citrus and pear and I love this fragrance. I'm not somebody that does a lot of really perfumey fragrances, but this kind of a fragrance I do like. And yes, I did lose part of my smell during COVID. It's almost back. But this, I saw this little mini in a set. I think it was on Macy's. I'll see if I can link it. But it was during the holidays and it was so affordable. And I thought, I remember that I love that fragrance. Why have I not replenished my supply? It is so fresh and so fruity and I love that smell. It has a little bit of an undertone of musk in there and maybe some sandalwood, but I just think that this is a really great fragrance and I had completely forgotten about it, wore it years ago and then found it again. And they have a bunch of different ones now that I didn't know about. So I'm gonna test some of those out, let you know what I think of them. Um, there's a bunch of different colors now, a red and a pink. And I really would love to know if any of you guys have tried these. And if you have those other colors or the other fragrances and let me know if you have a favorite, I would love to hear that from you. All right, now on to the makeup which is usually why most of us are here. I had tried so many of Sigma's palettes in the past and I was not a huge fan, but then they came out with this one from Cinderella and the Disney collaboration for Cinderella. And I'm a sucker for Cinderella anyway, because that's the, the Disney princess that I actually grew up with. I love those little mice <laughs> to death. And I just really felt like this particular palette spoke to me. They did a great job as far as this palette goes. They just picked out some colors that I thought were so, so pretty. And the finishes are different than the normal, you know, just mattes and shimmers. There's some metallic toppers in here. There's some that you would, um, could wear on your eyelids if you wanted to. They have some beautiful colors in here. I'm just gonna show you some of the more vibrant color ones in here and you can take a look at those and just kind of decide what you think of them sigma's palettes always do come with a, a brush that is part of their line this is a really good quality brush i think the brush itself is almost worth what's in the palette but i just fell in love with this little palette and i have been having so much fun with it so there's all the colors on the back as well that you get beautiful packaging beautiful embossing um, just a special treat that I thought was so pretty and you can get so many sales at Sigma If you hit the, get on their email list and you hit their sales just right They have some great 
sales on there so you get a bunch of purples some blues in here very neutral tones and then you get the black that you can deepen with if you want to i really have been enjoying and loving that palette and then off of amazon i got this one this is a tiktok find that i found it's called the pro eye palette botanical mauve from cleo it doesn't have a mirror or anything, but these little powders in here or the little eyeshadows in here, they're embossed for one thing, but they're really, really good. This is a very beautiful neutral palette. If you have been wanting a different neutral palette lately, you've been like, mm, I don't know whether or not it's something I would like. These are all matte, so you're not getting any shimmers in here. And the mattes are this formula that's not super pigmented, you can build it up to make an absolutely intense, gorgeous look if you want to. But what I love about it is that it's a one and done, on the go, hurry up palette where you can just put it on your eyes and, you know, make up this neutral look as you want to. And it's on there, it's quick, they last, they don't crease. I really like this little palette, very buttery and soft on the shadows. I think that they're a great, great shadow formula and I've been really enjoying that little palette. Now, during all of the sales that were going on during the holidays, I had heard so many times about this LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid, turmeric and ashwagandha. I don't know if you know what turmeric and ashwagandha do, but basically they are kind of anti-inflammatory ingredients. So if you have skin that really gets irritated with foundations this one might be really good for you it is um, very liquidy but at the same time it has that coverage that follows through and it is a good foundation i don't know what color mine is in i think it is let me grab these glasses again i think it's mn1 yes it's mn1 so this is just a tad bit too warm for me so i do have to use my mixing medium a little bit but not a lot but the coverage on this is fantastic this doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles and it lasts on your skin all day it kind of said there went my glasses it kind of sets itself a little bit but it is that, that hyaluronic acid formula that's going to give you some hydration. So I really have been enjoying this. It's not matte, but it's not dewy at all. It sits somewhere right in between. And the cover, like I said, the coverage is phenomenal. And they do have some really good colors. No oxidation. Doesn't turn orange on me. It doesn't turn into an Oompa Loompa foundation where you're going to have to worry about that during the day looking in the mirror and going, oh my gosh, this turned orange or, you know, whatever. So I really have been enjoying this one. It's been one that I've been kind of attached to for the past couple weeks. Have you seen on Instagram, this is everywhere, that Saint Beauty makeup. Okay, I was so intrigued by this because, you know, you fill this palette or whatever palette that you decide to get, you fill it with colors that you want. They tell you how to use it and you just go in and you create a look based on your coloring. You use light and contour techniques where you put, you know, your lighter color in here, a little bit darker color, and then you do your blush and your bronzer and you buff everything in at the same time if you want to you can use it separately too but i was so disappointed in this so this is one of my fails for the last couple months this settled into my fine lines and wrinkles so much and it's a very emollient product so i do feel like that's probably what happened with me not liking it is that the product is just too I don't want to say greasy that gives across the wrong impression it's not a greasy formula but it is very much emollient so getting it and working with it it just settled so badly so quickly and i was really disappointed because frankly i spent a ton of money on this i think that this particular little one was about a hundred dollars so i yeah i was really disappointed in that and i wanted to make sure i told you ladies now i'm sure that some of you it works great for but for me and for my skin and for settling it just did not work good at all and i was really disappointed in it that was actually my only fail for the month now i did want to tell you and i don't know what i did with it but ColourPop came out with three new base products. They came out with a setting mist. They came out with a primer um, that is the no filter. This is no filter, by the way. And then they came out with their pretty fresh pressed powder. And I'm in love with all of them. 
so you guys know they are all three absolutely great products and i'm so excited to share them with you i have been loving all three the mister i was really surprised the spritz or the mister on the pretty fresh it's quite fine so it's not going to come out and it's not going to just rinse you but it really does make my makeup last longer. I love that about it. The primer itself is a great primer for filling in pores, but it just really smoothed out my complexion. I was really pleased with that one. And I'm really pleased with this powder. I'll tell you why. This reminds me of so much of that Kosas powder. It is so close. It is the closest dupe I've found in a very long time to the closest cow cloud set powder it's not a cow powder cloud set powder this is a beautiful light airy powder that i can use all over my face and never look dry and cakey i don't use a ton of it i use it very sparingly i get these puffs in a package that comes with i think two of these big black puffs and i think there's two smaller red ones but i will use the puff and i will just go over wherever i feel like i'm super shiny the puff helps absorb too but this powder is so special because you never look like you have powder on it just perfects now why i'm so excited about that is because it's also a dupe for the by terry this is a pressed formula of their hydro powders it's a quad of those powders and I will tell you really quickly what these are called because I don't know, remember how long ago I got this. Hyaluronic Hydra Powder Palette Fair to Medium. So they must have a medium to dark. And I really like this. It's got very light colors in it, but then you go into the medium color right here, which is kind of like almost a almost a peachy banana powder. I really like that. But this powder is the same way. It really reminded me so much, this powder from ColourPop reminded me so much of this hyaluronic powder. I don't know if they found a magic potion to put in this or what, but I really like this. It really has surprised me how much I like both of these. I love the hydration from the hyaluronic acid in the By Terry one, but it doesn't hold throughout the day any more than this one does. So I really like both of them, but I really enjoy that ColourPop powder. It has really surprised me. From ColourPop as well, one of my new favorite lippy pencil colors is this Cool BFF from them. I like this because I can put this on and it looks almost identical to my own natural color. And so I can paint way out the out of the lines and it be just beautiful. I'm really enjoying this. If you've never tried any lippy pencils from ColourPop, I think you're really going to enjoy the formula. Very different from normal lip liners in that it's not drying at all. It's very creamy and really have been enjoying that one. It's almost like a lipstick in a lippy pencil, but last a little longer if that makes sense and then did you guys see that winky lux came out with this adorable we have a highlighter now in that little embossed rose that was one that they came out with with the blushes the cream blushes now we have a cream highlighter and the highlighter is so good on it too it's not just something to look at the highlighter is pretty darn good as well it has kind of a champagne -y color to it but it definitely has a beautiful just sheen reflect to it. I really have been liking that. I love anything that's bougie like this that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. I mean, this is a little bit more pricey at $20, but you can get this at Ulta for a little bit less with any of their coupons. So I think that's great. Kosas came out with their 10 second eye formula and I have really fallen in love with this. Kosas was kind enough to send me all six, but I did order three because I didn't know that they were going to be sending me all of these. But I absolutely love this formula. Kosas has skin loving ingredients in their makeup, which makes it fantastic for any of us mature, mature women because you're probably like me. You probably have a little bit of crinkles on that eyelid that makes it harder to wear any of these beautiful colors. But what Kosas does is it takes the color and it goes in with good ingredients too. So it's not drying like most of them are. So once this sets up on your eye, I'm putting this next to that lippy pencil that I just showed. Once these set up on your eye, then what's going to happen is it's not going to be super drying. You're not going to feel that intense 
intense crackling that I get with so many liquid eyeshadows before. This is just beautiful and it sets up quickly. You don't have to wait all day with your eyes down like this and going like this, which is what I normally do with <laughs> any eyeshadows that I put on my eyelids. I really like this. And when it says 10 seconds, it means 10 seconds. I'm not going to do all of them for you, but I will just show you those. They're very reflective, very pretty. So as far as your eyelid goes, you just swipe them across. What I will do is I will show you this one right here and we will just test it across my eyes really quick so that you can see. Please forgive me if I'm shaking. COVID did a number on my shakingness too, you guys. It just was one of those things that just... I hope it goes away, but my shakiness is over the top right now. So I'm just going to put a little bit along the line right here, down here by the lid, because I don't want to disrupt my green too much, but I definitely want to show you how easy this is. Just brush it across really, eat really fast, really quick, and it has a beautiful reflect to it. And it's going to dry in just a couple of seconds. And you're going to have that look there. It's so pretty. And then I also want to say a flying okie dokie to <laughs> the Essence New Double Trouble Mascara. What is so neat about this mascara is it's double wand. So on one side, it has very small bristles that are the plastic bristles or the silicone bristles. And then on the other side, you get the more natural bristle, which I think is fantastic. So you get the volume by going in with that natural bristle. You get that all that volume down there by the base of your lashes. And then you can get some length with the silicone bristle and just, you know, touching that up. So I just think that this, they did a great job. They did a fantastic job on this. I like the formula as well. I don't find that it smears or flakes during the day. So big thumbs up for Kosa, or I'm sorry, for Essence and what they did with this mascara. It was so, so good. I love that. And then last but not least, I think this is my, nope, I have two more things. So this is the second to the last thing. Sephora came out with a bunch of new products in their makeup collection as well. And this is their new liner. Now let me just see really quickly what this is called. Their new liner is the Ultimate Gel Eyeliner. It's supposed to be waterproof. This is in Plum Shimmer. Now, I will tell you that I'm not going to wear this on my eyes. I'm going to wear this for a lip liner. The reason being is because it's waterproof and it lasts all day. I've loved it for that. And then also, I love that plum color. I do, do think I got a green one too. I couldn't find it over there, but I think I got a green one. These are great. These are so much fun. I have just been absolutely loving them and they do last and last. I haven't tried them in the waterline. If any of you have gotten these and tried them in the waterline, will you let us know? But when I go to wash that off, that's going to be really hard to wash off. So on your lip line, it's going to stay there for a long time. You're not just going to eat it off when you eat your lunch or whatever. And it's also going to stay on your eyes. Very great, beautiful staying power. Okay, last thing is this highlighter that I got. I actually got this because of Emily Noel. She talked about this in some of her favorites, I think for last year. Okay, this is from Laura Geller and it's the Baked Original Highlighter Duo, Duo in French Poodle and French Almond. You guys, we all love the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's just that soft wash of highlighter for a mature gal and it's beautiful because it's not super high beam, but it gives that gorgeous glow to your skin. That's what both of these are. They are so pretty. They're not any sort of a powder that's going to give you um, a, a shimmer like I have on my cheeks today is pretty intense. It's very soft. So if you have texture and you haven't been able to find something that you really like that could highlight your skin without showing up that texture, I think you might really like these because they're not super high beam shimmer. They're just a soft, warm, candlelit glow to your skin. And I think they're just something really special. I really like these. So I think that that is it now. I think that that's pretty much everything that I have in front of me. Thank you all so much for being with me today and spending a little bit of time with me and all of the support that you've given me while I've been sick and recovering after my father died and all of your well wishes. I can't begin to tell you how much that meant to me and my family. It was overwhelming and it was so nice to know all of you guys just kind of enveloped me and I just appreciate your virtual hugs. It meant more to us than you could ever imagine. 
just really appreciate that and I wanted to make sure I told you that and thank you for your well wishes about being sick and about husband's knee he's doing so much better he's actually got released yesterday to go back to work so that was a wonderful thing for our whole family so thanks again for being here with me let me know about any of these products in the comment section if you've tried them or if you want to try them I would love to hear that from you as well I hope everybody is happy and healthy and doing good and we will all get together again right here in my very next video. I love you much. Bye-bye, friends.